who doesn't love to sleep? An average human requires about six to eight hours of sleep to give their body ample rest and wake up feeling rejuvenated. You may have noticed that it becomes very difficult to function when you do not get a good night's sleep. But what if we told you that there is a man who has not slept in over 60 years? A YouTube video about a Vietnamese man claiming to have not slept since 1962 has taken the internet by storm. Step into the extraordinary as we unveil the 10 most peculiar individuals in the annals of history. Welcome back to our channel, click the subscribe button for more interesting and informative videos. Let's get start. Number 10, Tyne Gok, an 80-year-old man, claims that several decades ago, he caught a fever as a child, after which he could never sleep again. The one-of-a-kind case might make Ngok seem superhuman, but he too wants to have a peaceful sleep like others around him. But he claims that the fever in 1962 snatched his sleep forever. Despite this extraordinary condition, he continues to lead a relatively normal life, engaging in daily activities and even farm work. Ngok's story sheds light on the human body's incredible adaptability and the importance of sleep for overall well-being. Number 9. Sanju Bhagat A 60-year-old man, living with a bulging stomach similar to a pregnant woman for more than three decades in Maharashtra's Nagpur, was diagnosed with a rare medical condition. Sanju Bhagat was nicknamed Pregnant Man by his community in Nagpur due to his protruding belly, which turned out to be a rare condition of him being pregnant with his twin for over 36 years. According to reports, Sanju Bhagat was diagnosed with a medical condition called fetus in fetu, commonly known as vanishing twin syndrome, meaning his twin died during pregnancy before being reabsorbed. The rare condition is estimated to occur in just one in every 500,000 live births, where one twin is born inside the other. Bhagat, as a child, was fit and healthy despite a slightly more prominent stomach than most kids. But when he reached his 20s, his tummy ballooned to an alarming size, reported the news outlet. Number 8. Michel Lotito Michel Lotito, often known as Monsieur Mangetou, was a French entertainer who lived up to his moniker. He ate everything, glass, metal, rubber, you name it. He was rewarded for his efforts with the title of the world's strangest diet. However, since strangeness is neither objective nor quantifiable, the record has since been revoked. Lotito was fond of feeding on seemingly inedible objects like razor blades and bicycles, but he is most famous for being the man who ate an entire aeroplane. He used an electric power saw to chop each thing into bite-sized pieces so that it was ready for ingestion. He ingested the chunks like a pill rather than chewing them, which would have been lethal for most people. To help wash it all down, Lotito drank mineral oil and large quantities of water, which acted as lubricant. Fortunately, he didn't experience any significant problems excreting his food. Number 7. Yoshiro Nakamatsu Yoshiro Nakamatsu, a Japanese inventor, has taken eccentricity to a new level by photographing every single meal he eats for the past 34 years. His dedication to meticulously documenting his food intake is driven by a desire for detailed analysis, making him a unique character among food enthusiasts. Nakamatsu is renowned for his numerous patents, including the floppy disk, but such a specific and extensive photographic project attributed to him seems unlikely. It's essential to critically evaluate and verify information before accepting it as fact. Number 6. Mehran Karimi Nasseri Mehran Karimi Nasseri, also known as Sir Alfred Mehran, gained international attention for living in the departure lounge of Terminal 1 at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, France, for approximately 18 years. His story inspired the film The Terminal, directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Tom Hanks. Nasseri, an Iranian refugee, found himself in a bureaucratic limbo after his refugee documents were stolen, preventing him from leaving the airport or entering France. Despite offers of assistance from various organizations and governments, Nasseri chose to remain in the airport, living off donations and occasional support from airport staff. His unique situation highlighted the complexities of international migration and the challenges faced by stateless individuals. Nasseri eventually left the airport in 2006 after falling ill, 
and was granted residency in France. Number 5. Lal Bihari Lal Bihari, also known as Lal Bihari Mritak, is an Indian farmer who gained prominence for his unusual predicament. In 1976, Lal Bihari was falsely declared dead by his relatives in order to seize his land. Despite being very much alive, Lal Bihari encountered numerous bureaucratic hurdles in proving his existence. Determined to reclaim his identity, he embarked on a decades-long battle against the corrupt system, which included staging his own funeral, contesting elections, and founding the Uttar Pradesh Association of Dead People to raise awareness about similar cases. Lal Bihari's remarkable perseverance and resilience eventually paid off when he was officially declared alive in 1994. His story inspired the acclaimed Hindi film Kagaz and shed light on the flaws in India's legal and administrative systems. Lal Bihari's struggle serves as a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Number 4. Supatra Nat Sasufan, also known as Wolf Girl, captured global attention due to a rare genetic condition called hypertrichosis, which causes excessive hair growth all over her face and body. Born in Thailand in 1999, Supatra Sasufan has faced challenges due to her unique appearance, but has also embraced her condition with confidence and positivity. Despite enduring bullying and discrimination in her youth, Supatra has become a symbol of self-acceptance and empowerment, advocating for understanding and compassion towards individuals with differences. Her story has been featured in media around the world, highlighting the importance of embracing diversity and challenging societal beauty standards. Supatra's resilience and courage serve as an inspiration to many, promoting acceptance and inclusivity in society. Number 3. Matayoshi Mitsuo Matayoshi Mitsuo was a Japanese criminal who gained notoriety for his actions during the 1960s. He was involved in a series of violent crimes, including robberies and murders. Matayoshi Mitsuo, often referred to as the self-proclaimed Jesus Christ, gained notoriety for declaring himself the reincarnation of Jesus Christ in Japan. He claimed to be the second coming of Jesus and garnered a following of believers who subscribed to his teachings. Mitsuo's assertions sparked controversy and debate within both religious and secular circles. While some individuals were drawn to his message and formed a devoted following, others regarded him with skepticism or outright dismissal. Religious leaders and scholars scrutinized his claims, emphasizing theological differences and questioning the authenticity of his identity as Jesus Christ. Number 2. Timothy Dumouchel Timothy Dumouchel made headlines for an unusual lawsuit against a TV company, blaming them for his wife's weight gain due to excessive snacking influenced by their commercials. His legal action drew attention to the impact of advertising on consumer behavior and sparked debates about personal responsibility and corporate influence. While some viewed his case as frivolous, others saw it as highlighting broader issues of accountability and advertising practices. Dumouchel's story serves as a curious example of individual attempts to challenge societal norms and the power dynamics between consumers and media entities. Number 1. Sadhu Amar Bharati, born as Amar Bharati, hails from India and belongs to the ascetic tradition of Hinduism. His ascetic journey took an extreme turn when he decided to raise his right arm in devotion to Lord Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction and transformation. Bharati's act of keeping his arm raised continuously, often for decades at a time, is a form of penance aimed at spiritual purification and dedication to his deity. He began this practice in the 1970s as a gesture of protest against materialism and to demonstrate his unwavering faith. Despite the physical discomfort and health risks, including atrophy and deformation of his arm due to lack of movement, Parati remains committed to his vow. As we wrap up our journey through the lives of history's most eccentric figures, it's clear that the human experience is as diverse as it is fascinating. From tyrannical rulers to enigmatic mystics, each individual we've explored has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of history. As we reflect on their stories, let us remember that understanding and empathy are essential, even when grappling with the complexities of mental illness or extreme behavior. 
Join us again soon as we continue to delve into the extraordinary and unearth the untold stories of our world's most intriguing characters. Thank you for watching.